Hello again everyone, this is Mr. Elveronin here for a breakdown of Nezure Hado. Um, overall I would say Nezure is a combo slash zoning character, uh, maybe even you could say slightly a setup character. Anyways, getting into her buttons, her attack string is a 3 hit attack string that launches them into the air, it can be dash cancelled afterwards, easily into her air attack string. Her air attack string is, it's a, you could say it's a three hit attack string, but the third hit does uh, a lot of hits, and it can be dash cancelled as well like, after the third hit, or after any of the hits, for that matter. So go to the center. Um, her tilt attack, or her armor, or yellow move, is this spinning move that can be dash cancelled after any point. So you can dash cancel after the first hit. I'm not sure you why you'd want to do that, but the point is you can dash cancel after any of them. Try to do it as late as possible to get the most damage if you're using it in a combo. Um, her quirk uh, is the same in the air as well. It acts the exact same way. Good for combos. Extending can be cancelled after the third hit of this. Um, her red attack now. Wow, this is where Nezure hits really good. Her red attack? Probably don't expect, but I think I can hit it from over here. Ready? It's ridiculous. It is such a long range red attack. It is so good for playing footsies or if they think you're going to be throwing projectiles. Throw in a red attack, and then hit them with a quick combo. No one's gonna be ready for a red attack, like, from over here. It's amazing. I'll explain more on it later. It is just so amazing. It didn't reach there when I was, like, halfway across the map. But it is very great. And it allows her to go in for a quick combo. Um, her quirk one is her projectile. Uh, if you tap it once, she'll just do one projectile. Uh, you can guide uh, its direction, so if I like hold left when I do it, it'll go to the left, or if I hold right, it'll go to the right. If I'm trying to predict that the enemy's gonna like run away or try and dodge out of the way with my straight one, it's usually the straight one they'll avoid in some way. So you want to try and predict where they're going. Um, she can do it twice. She can cancel it into itself to do two of them which combo depending on how far away the enemy is. Um, and you can guide them differently as well. So I can do this one in this direction and that one in that direction to try and catch them for where they're going. And you can press the button a third time and she'll do this weird flip, which I guess is good because these have quite long recovery. If they're trying to throw a projectile back at you, you're not going to get punished for it because she does this good cartwheel out of the way to protect herself from being punished. Um, this move, after any point, you hold, can hold down the button and you see she got the, the blue um, charge up. And with that blue charge up, as you can see here, she releases this massive, I don't know, burst of energy that stays on the screen. So when she's green, you can release this in the neutral and then there's just, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't hit if they're in the very center, but like, like there. They, if they time it very perfectly, they can stand still, but that rarely happens. And it's great to use in combos, so see after I, I do two hits into this armor move, I can cancel into this, and that does a lot of damage juggling the ra around. It's really great for that. I use it more as a combo tool, but also sort of, if I'm like, you know, around this distance, I tend to like throw it out and then they're scared of that being out there and I just do <laughs> my red attack through the whole thing because they can barely even see it. Uh, yeah, so that's a great move. Make sure you're <laughs> charged up so you can use that as much as possible. It's just really great. It's so large and there's so much damage. Um, she doesn't have a tilt quirk 2. Her quirk 1. Um, so her quirk 1. Uh, uh, a quirk 2 is a string 
It's a three hit string that can wall splat if you're near a wall or if you're in the air. It can be cancelled off just about anything. Um, see, even if I do my air string into the armor move, I can cancel that into the armor into quark 2 quark 2 quark 2 string. And that's how you'll be ending most of your combos. Um, yep, it's not that great, it's very unsafe on block, it's not the fastest, um, and the last hit oops, won't come out if you don't hit the second one. Uh, it can be dash cancelled, but I doubt you're ever going to get anything off of it unless you're very close to the ball. Oops, that's wrong. I'm going to try and short wall splat. Oh, it wasn't in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does wall splat, so if you have them in the air and you're doing a combo and you cancel this, they'll be in for a wall splat and you can extend your combo, obviously. Um, a tilt quirk 2 is this grab move. Uh, interesting, it's very long range. It's not an actual grab, it can be blocked. So it's not a red move, it's just has a grab animation. This is really long range, so if you're out here, you know, throwing projectiles, you can catch them off guard by just running in it. <laughs> and it has really good tracking as well, you can see even with Shigaraki running, I can hit it most of the time, she tracks very well after them. So that's another... it's unsafe, obviously, but it does a lot of damage, and it can be dash cancelled, so... Like here. Um, if you're in the very middle of a stage, it's hard to get a combo after she does the fifth hit of it. So see, if I let her do all of the hits. Oh, there we go. I did it there. But it can be it can be a bit tight to dash cancel after it, but it is her most damaging uh, combo extender thing. And it is also used in most of her bread and butter combos, so let's see. Uh, you can cancel it after her armor attack into this. Which is pretty decent damage for one dash cancel. Um, and yeah, that's basically all of Ninja Ray's buttons. They all act about the exact same in the air as they would on the ground. All of her quirk buttons. You can guide these, throw these, um, this is the same, and the string is the same as well. Um, okay, so now for combos. Um, I may have spoiled some of them already, but, uh, bread and butter for, com for Nezure goes like this. So two hits into the yellow move, and you cancel that into her grab. Did that wrong. Two hits into yellow move, cancel into the grab, one, two, three, into the yellow move, into the work two string. Um, that isn't optimal, I don't think, but it it's pretty simple. It's pretty si it's simple enough to get consistently online. I didn't have any music. Um, so yes, obviously take note that you need Vita to complete this combo. Um, depending on when you cancel things, if you cancel the, t the, the armor attack later, or if you cancel her air, the third hit of her air string later, it can do like different amounts of damage, but it's usually around the 8,000. 8,000 range, as long as you don't drop it. So that was 7,600 and the, th the first part of the thing didn't connect with the second, but yep, she can do pretty good damage, but um, where she can do even better damage is if you have her projectiles charged up. So here, 
you can go attack, attack, into yellow attack, and cancel it into this. And you jump into the air and do one, two, three, into her armor attack, into this. Oh, that didn't connect. Here, let me show you again so you can see the full damage. Oop, charge that up. So, attack, attack, into armor attack, into her charged projectile. One, two, three. Into this. One, two, three. You know what the best part about that was? There was no dash cancel meter use. Look, my meter is still completely full. If you wanted to, you could spend a little bit more, but if you're doing that much damage without, I don't see what's the point of spend wasting a dash cancel. So here's what it could look like with the dash cancel. Jump into the air. One, two, three. Just getting a little more damage, almost up to 9,000. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. And... Obviously, if you get her red attack, um... Just letting you know, she's left in the air. So if you hit the red attack and you attack afterwards, she'll do her air attack string. So you'll be doing an air combo afterwards. Um... Yeah, after you throw these, or if you ever have hit advantage, you know, out here, throw out a red move. And you can get some good damage. Oh, wait, let me show that again with them actually connecting. <laughs> wow. That's more than I expected. 11,000 with one dash cancel from her red attack. So make sure you're throwing that out whenever you can. And also, red attack... Uh, it's hard to tell with Shigi. I'm not moving that far, but... Here, when he's moving to the center. It also attracts, like, quite a lot. So it, it arcs after them. It's crazy, this red attack. Be sure you use it. Keep your opponent on their toes. Uh, just a quick side note on her combos, she's actually pretty good at spending multiple plus ultra meters in her combo, so her usual combo with one dash cancel would look like this. It has a 900, nearly 9000, which is pretty good, but uh, you can dash cancel again if you really want to, to end out the round. to do 10,000, and let me just test, I think you can do even 3 if you want. Wait, that wasn't optimal, I was... You have to make sure you do the 3 air attacks and do as much spin as possible, so... Okay, um, that wasn't optimal because I kept doing two air, air attacks, but that still did 11.5 11 11 thousand here. Let me try one more time. Oh, oops, I missed it there. Okay, maybe it's good to leave them out because he... <laughs> Meteor blowed a bit earlier. Um, anyways, that's just a quick side note on her combos. As I said before, she can do a bit more damage if you start in the air because she does the three hits before she can go into the armor move, unlike on the ground where she does two. Oh, wait. So that was one bar of one dash cancel and it's almost 10,000, which is very, very good. Um, and all the same applies for her setup move combo. You jump into the air, do one, two, into this. Dash cancel. Yeah, 
9,000. Um, on the ground, you can do it with this a lot of damage without spending any meter if you use it. Almost 8,000, no dash cancel. Uh, thanks, continue with the video. Um, for plus ultra combos, uh, Nejire, her plus ultra one, it, it isn't that great because she starts it by shooting her beams out like diagonally outwards, so they often miss, so it's quite hard to combo into. See, even if I just do like two hits into it. That actually combos, it does 8,000 damage, but there aren't, really aren't that many things that you can do that connect into it. See, could, she misses a bit, and then because she misses some of the thing, it doesn't do the full damage that it could possibly do. Um, I find the best place where you could possibly do it is if you're near the corner. Stop that. If you're near a wall, then you can get quite a bit of damage out of it. See if I do two hits here. Because there's not really anywhere for the opponent to go when they get hit by it. That's where it'll do a bit more damage, but really it's it's not that great. Sometimes I like to throw it out if the opponent's guarding and they're in the corner. It does quite a few hits, so it's good for some guard pressure. Wait, let me break their guard to show you how good it can actually be. Okay, so having guard in the corner. I can go one, two into this. And if you bring out of the support. Yeah, eh, it gets the job done. It's a level one. If you want to use it, it's decently long ranged. I see opponent off guard, but I wouldn't suggest doing it too much. Um, a plus ultra two. <laughs> I love the animation, but it can be added to the like the end of a ground combo. It's pretty doesn't have amazingly quick startup, but you know you can get it after the armor move or the three hits. Pretty decent quick damage. There we go, easy fifteen thousand damage. Um, if you want to get the most out of, out of her combos, just by the way, um, I would suggest starting in the air, because then you can do three hits into the armor move, and then... You know, you can get a bit more damage that way. Um, other than that, the most you can get meterless with Nezure is probably... One, two, into this. Um, and then probably cancel into the quirk too. Into this string. Which, you know, it's decent damage if you have absolutely no meter, it gets them away, so you can get it back and start throwing some projectiles. And charge up your thing. So that you can have them stuck in that. Yeah, she's very combo friendly. Um, she has these decent projectiles because they're quite large, and she also has with this a setup tool sort of of sorts. See, <laughs> it works a lot better if you're against a real enemy and they're moving around. Because if they stand like Shigi here, when he's standing dead still, he ends up right in the middle of the thing. But if he, if they move like even slightly, like, oh, here, try and get him. Wait, I'll charge it up, and then I'll try and get him to go to the center. See, they get caught in this, and then you can 
hit them with a the full combo. Uh, for them walking into it, and it does a lot of guard pressure as well. Um, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, just a quick note on guard pressure. Um, Nijere is pretty good because she can cancel uh, attacks into anything, so if I go 1, 2, into this guard attack, and then into her quad shoestring, that's almost all of their guard pressure down instantly. And that op it often catches people off guard that you can cancel out of um, her uh, spinning armor uh, yellow attack, her tilt, tilt attack uh, on block. So that catches people quite a lot. Um, anyways, I think that's just about it for Nejere. Uh Run speed's great, walk speed's, you know, average. She's just a really fun character. Oh yeah, and she can fly if you ever want to do that. If you someone has you high in the air from a combo and they're falling down to the ground, well, you don't have to fall with them. You can just be <laughs> floating around, waiting around for them, and you can throw your projectiles from the sky. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. That's about it for Nejere Hado so far. Um, also, please note that everything here is day one tech. So, take it with a grain of salt, I expect it to be outdated. But, I hope you enjoyed! Go play some Nezure Hado. She's really fun, I promise. <laughs>